Hello everyone and welcome to this video. It's Leonard here from DigitalLearner.com and in today's video tutorial, we are going to take a look at reasons why you need to consider trading BUSD margin features using the Binance Exchange. Okay, so we'll look at what stable coins are, what is BUSD, okay, why you should choose BUSD as your collateral, the benefit of holding some BUSD on your Binance Exchange and how to start trading BUSD margin features. Okay, I'll be sharing all of this with you in this video. All right, so if you are new to the channel, if you love videos about making money online, about crypto trading and investing, then consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published. And if you want to learn more about crypto, join my day, uh, weekly Zoom meetings. Link to join my Telegram group will be in the video description. All right, so with that being said, let's jump right into it. Now, if you don't have a Binance account already, all right and you want to venture into cryptocurrency into trading and investing then binance is that place you need to begin your crypto journey with so just sign up with the link in the video description and get your account verified and if you're in nigeria it is very easy to get your account verified all you just need to do is to use your bbn you don't need to upload anything and your account will be verified okay and then you can start using um these options and the features that i'm going to share with you in this video all right so with that being said the first thing we need to look at is what are stable coins okay um this is something a lot of um, persons most especially those who are newbies in the crypto space don't understand all right so stable coins are actually cryptocurrencies that you know have their values pegged to a fiat currency in most cases it is to the us dollar all right you know that is power currency so the value of stable coins are always pegged to you know um the us dollar all right so example of a stable coin if i come in here to my features account okay if i click on the features account and i come in here example of a stable coin can be you know usdt all right um usdt okay so we have USDT, you can see, you know, the pairs here that BTC, USDT, Ethereum, USDT, and the rest, okay? You have another one as BUSD, okay? BUSD is a stable coin, all right? Meaning that if I'm using BUSD or USDT as, you know, collateral in trading features, okay? At the end of the day, at the end of my contract, I am settled in these stable coins. So since I'm settled in these stable coins, no matter how volatile the market become, let's say I have 10,000 BUSD or USDT in my account, and then all of a sudden the market start going, let's say Bitcoin start going down to from 30,000 to 20,000 or thereabout, it does not affect that 10,000 that I have, okay? So it doesn't affect the, the money that I have in stable coin, all right? so all of these are what we are looking at once again um the most popular stable coin you can um, think of in the market right now are busd usdt and um, S, um usdc okay we have busd usdt and usdc okay we have equally have die as a stable coin um we have a lot of other stable coins but these are the major popular ones okay but among all of them okay among all of them if you use binance then busd will be the most preferred okay so what is busd busd is actually the binance owns stable coin okay busd is the binance owns stable coin and the busd is a, a stable coin that was founded okay by paxos and binance all right it was funded by paxo and binance and there are a few reasons why you want to consider using busd and those include some of these that i'm going to mention out okay um if you are holding busd you stand to gain a lot from the binance exchange okay so one thing i will let you know here is that busd is strict compliance it means that it is regulated a regulated stable coin that is pegged you know to the us dollar at a one-to-one -one ratio okay when you are using busd you don't need to be afraid if uh, maybe the value all of a sudden will depreciate or thereabout okay um the uh, busd is actually regulated and it is approved by the new york state department of financial service so you don't need to be afraid when using busd you don't need to be afraid when you are using you know busd and so on okay 
And um, another thing you should note here is that it is 100%, BUSD is 100% backed by cash and cash equivalent, okay? So one of the benefits of using um, BUSD or holding BUSD or trading the BUSD margin features on Binance is that you enjoy fee discounts and maker rebates okay if you are into the crypto space and you understand what a, a maker and a taker in the market is all about you understand what i'm saying okay when you are a maker let's say you are trading any trade you carry out with market order it means that you are a taker in the market so you pay higher fee then any trade you 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 enter in the market with limit orders you are a maker in the market okay you pay lower fee but with BUSD, when you hold BUSD, you get discount in most of the fees, okay? On most of these fees. And in most cases, you pay like zero fee, okay? So since the um, BUSD is back to one US dollar, all right, it is easier for you to always, you know, calculate that, okay, if I make two BUSD, I make 10 BUSD, it is equated to one dollar, all right? So the calculations are straightforward because one busd is always equal to one dollar there is nothing that can make that change okay so um another benefit I i'll mention here is you know um the different tokens that you can actually trade um i will show you how to enable you know the multi-asset mode um to be able to start trading you know the busd margin features and how you can have some busd in your account and you can equally use it to trade usdt I will show you all of that as we proceed with this video so majorly this is for futures trading okay so if i come in here to the futures trading as aspect okay if i come in here now when we come in here you have the options of trading um busd pairs here so i can come in here okay to let me just click here where we have btc usdt and then i can search for any token of my choice let's say i want to start trading the busd margin features okay um i can search for any token here if i type busd here you see that we can trade you know this best btc busd ethereum busd bnb busd that busd so anything at all any token at all you can trade you can think of in the futures market can be traded with the busd margin contract so let's say i want to either long or short you know the btc us uh, busd i'll go ahead and select it all right now if you look at my account if you look at my account you see that i can either trade okay busd I, my funds can either be converted to busd or usdt at the same time depending on the coin that i'm selecting and the reason for this is because when you check here okay close to this 20x leverage i am having m there all right and if i go ahead and click to read um, click on it to review it you see that my account has is enabled to use the multi-asset mode to trade okay so by default if you are a official trader on the binance account by default you'll be having the single asset mode now to explain briefly on this what the multi-asset mode allows you to do is that um, you don't need to, if you are trading with a single mode, you need to have, if you want to trade pairs that are with USDT, okay, let's say B BTC, USDT, Ethereum, USDT, and the rest, you need to have only USDT, all right? But with the multi-asset mode, I can have my phones in USDT, and then I can only trade pairs that are with BUSD. I can have my phones in BUSD, and I can trade phones that are with USDT okay so that is exactly what you are seeing on my account right now so if i go back you see here it is showing the um m okay which is the multi-asset mode all right so um if i switch this token i just selected okay to let's say um btc usdt you see that i still have that same balance in usdt that i can use to equally long the market okay so that is one thing you need to note and how to, do you change this to this multi-asset mode the first thing you want to do okay if you come to your official trading account you want to come in here and click on this three icon at the top right okay once you click on it you see once you click on it you get this option for preferences okay so we are going to click on those preferences we'll go ahead and click on it so once we click on it you want to come in here to where it says asset mode okay the asset mode here is set to you know the multi-asset mode 
um by default yours will be in the singular set mode so we'll go ahead and click on it and then check um, change it from the single asset mode to the multi asset mode that way you can then be able to exchange between you know your busd and their usdt trading on the same account okay trading on the same account all right so that is basically how simple it is to be able to use and i've told you using the busd most especially what you should get now is that using busd or holding busd gives you access to paying lower you know discount in most cases you don't pay discount at all when you use busd to trade on the binance exchange okay so to actually show you um how to practice all of this you can use what the binance call mock trading okay to sharpen your trading skills mock trading um is like a demo not that as if it's like mock trading is a demo trading um account okay that you can use on the binance app to start practicing and to do that um we just need to click these three um dots here okay okay so if i click on the three dots so once i click on the three dot you see different options here but the option i want to show you here for the, the demo trading is this one that is called the mock trading okay with mock trading you have free money there that you can use to start trading features or you know start practicing so if i go ahead and click on it let it open up so it will pop up i'll just go ahead and you know click on ok and then it will tell us that um, mock trading you will be granted an initial phone worth 3000 usdt follow the step-by-step -step guide and see how much you can earn from it okay so i'll go ahead and take a uh, start it all so click on start it all and then um, i'll go ahead and click on continue so once I click on continue, it will now switch from my live mode, okay, the live trades, that I have, the live account that I have there to the mock trade, okay, with the free $3,000, okay. Now it gives you this option, what do you think? You can go ahead and just think if Bitcoin will go up, just go ahead and, and you know, check this. If it will go down, go ahead and check that it will fall, okay. But I don't want to use this. Let me just show you how to use the mock trade itself. So I'll... I'll go ahead and click on the X icon at the top right so to close it okay look at the X icon here so just click on it to close it all right so this is a mock trade and um, interface so as you can see here it tells you if you want to go back to the live account you can click here to go back to the live account so this is a mock account we have here and uh, we do have free 3000 USDT here okay to you know practice in this account so if i want to change it to busd i can just go ahead and type in okay busd here and trade busd pair all right so i can type btc busd and when i type btc busd you see that we don't have any balance here okay we don't have any balance here and the reason for that is because the mock trading account is on single asset mode okay so we can either click here or click this dot to go change it okay but this is the shortcut so we just go ahead and click on the x here so when we click the s then we can change it from the single asset mode to the multi asset mode all right so once we change it to the multi asset mode if i come back here we'll now have some balance in U B U S D. okay so you see that we now have balance in busd all right then if i go ahead and change it from here um to usdt you see that we still have some balance in usdt so that is what uh, some of the benefit um you get when you are using the multi-asset mode and one thing i want to let you know here is that with the multi-asset mode you can only trade with cross um, margin mode okay you can only trade with the cross margin mode you can't change it from cross to isolated so please take note of that and to show you that if i come back to, and click on this m here again you see here um the description that is attached to the multi-asset mode you get every details there all right so with this mock trading account now we can go ahead and start practicing we can change our leverage let's say we change it to 10x leverage okay we can change it and then choose any coin that we think that will go up okay so once you think that any coin will go up all you just need to do is to go ahead and click on buy long all right you just put in the price for instance okay let's say you want to enter with the market price i'll change this limit here to market price so if i click on it i'll change it to market price okay 
and um, close this. Uh, we can come in here and put in the amount of BTC we want to trade. Okay. Um, alternatively, we can use this slider here. Okay. Whatever we slide it to, if it is 10%, it means that we are using 10% of our balance and so on. Okay. So if I go on here to, let me go ahead and, you know, use the slider and slide this. Okay. So whatever I slide it to, you see that it's 0 0.5 BTC we are going to trade here. I can go ahead and long the market. And then it will give me this option. This 0 0.5, because we are using 10x leverage, is going to cost us um, um, around 1,000, okay, 1,648 USDT. All right. What if I want to do it for BUSD? I just go ahead and, you know, search for BUSD. I just do BUSD, okay and do BTC, BUSD. So if I think that the market will go up from here, I can adjust my leverage again to 10X, okay? So once I confirm that, since I think that the market will go up from here, I can go ahead and even trade one BTC, for instance, with the 10X leverage, that will cost us more. So I'll go ahead and click on, you know, buy long. So this will cost us around $3,000, which is more than what we have on our account. So we can just do 0 0.1, for instance, 0.2 BTC okay let's do 2 BTC and then go ahead and buy long and this will cost us just $600 so we'll go ahead and just confirm buy okay and because we use market order that will go into position immediately okay it's in position immediately if we have used limit order it will be in open orders okay so once the market hit that target then it will go into position all right once it is in position it means that our trade is active so you can see here um, this is so far what we are losing because the ROE here says it's minus this, okay? It's that it has even entered profit right now, okay? And this is how much it cost us, all right, to trade this. And we are trading um, 0 0.2 BTC. This is our entering price. This is the current price. And then this is our liquidation price. Because we are using 10x leverage, we can only be liquidated when Bitcoin gets to 15,000, okay? You see that the more increases, the more we make profit here. So you can use this mock account, okay? Mock trading account and start learning how to trade Binance officials on the Binance exchange. All right? So basically, that is all I have for you in this video. Um, go ahead and, you know, get some BUSD in your account. Change your account from single mode to multi-asset mode and start enjoying some of the benefit that Binance has in stock for you on they are exchange if you do have questions if there's anything you're stuck with always use the comment section and i'll always attend to your comment or once you join my telegram group you can always leave your comment there and i'll definitely be attending to them um, one after the other so that is it for this video and i will see you guys in the next video